Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to try to solve this problem, do some level coding work. At the same time, I'm going to follow the general interview steps. So first of all, let's try to race through this problem. Elimination game, you have a list of array of all integers in the range of one to n sorted in a strictly increasing order. So apply the following algorithm on array. Starting from first step is starting from left to right. Remove the first number and every other number afterwards until you reach the end of the list. Second step is we repeat the previous step again, but this time you from right to left. And then the third step is you just keep repeating the steps uh, again, alternatively left to right and then right to left until we have just a single number left there. So given an integer n, return the last number that remains in the array. So for example, let's say n is equal to 9, then we are going to output 6. So the constraint says n is anywhere between 1 to a billion. So let's see how to solve this problem. So how to solve this problem? Um, one brute force solution I can think of is we could just try to mimic the the process is like which, which when I say try to mimic the process is something like we have the real integer array and then we just keep eliminating eliminating the numbers from the array or you can actually have like a, a boolean array uh, try to mark the number we are going to eliminate as false uh, then we are finally we do one pass and find a single number left there but anyway, for this brute force solution, it is going to be O n, uh, which is going to be a linear solution, so not really efficient. So the next thing that comes to my mind is um, what we could do is we don't really need to actually when we try to mimic the process, we don't really need to actually delete the number from the array or mark the number within the array as deleted. But instead, what we could do is we just uh, keep uh, two variables. One is how many numbers left there. Uh, uh, so we will keep two variables, had and remain. So the remain means how many numbers are there left in the array. So if the remain goes is equal to one, then we just uh, stop there. Uh, and another another thing I want to keep is the head. The head is. Um, the first number within the array that contains all the numbers left after the step. So during the process, we try to mimic the process. We don't need to actually uh, delete the numbers from the array, as I said. Instead, we are just going to use some uh, intu intuitive operation to update the head and the remain. So in each of the step, it's going to take O1 and um, because every time we are just eliminating half of the number from the array, the runtime is going to be log n because we have log n of the steps here. So this one, is, I think it would be like uh, much more efficient than the previous one. So let's uh, go ahead and do some coding work on top of this. So as, as I said, we are going to first of all have the head. So it is going to start from one. And uh, we have the remain as equal to n. So, and also we are going to have a boolean. Um, so the boolean is going to indicate whether it is from the left or whether it is from the right. So at the very beginning, it is going to uh, be initialized as true because we are going to, the first pass is from left to right. So while the remain is larger than one, which means oh, oh, we have more than one number left within the array, then we are just going to uh, do the follow the process, try to mimic it. So uh, the first, so it, okay. So another thing I think I need to keep is a something called step. So I'll explain the step later on. So if we are starting from the left, for sure we are going to move our head. So, and uh, also, if the numbers remain, the remaining number, if we have even number, uh, even numbers remaining, 
then we don't really need to uh, delete uh, the first number from the array. But if we have like uh, odd numbers, uh, rem uh, odd, odd numbers uh, remain in the array, then we will need to then we will need to actually uh, delete the first number. So it's something like if left is uh, so if left if we start from the left or if uh, it is not left but uh, it is remain uh, uh, multiple two as equal to one then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and to add a step on top of uh, head so why do we have the step? The, that is because for each of the paths, we are not like uh, skip the equal, num e equal numbers. So for example, let's say for the first step, you're going to skip one number, but for the second, um, so when I say skipping, from, say skipping one number is something like we just skip one here. But for the second step is it's we are just we are we are going to skip two, four, three, four, five, uh, and go all the way to six. So every time we are trying to eliminate half of the number, so it so which means every step. So for each of the process, like uh, after each iteration, we are just going to have the step uh, to be like twice as many as before. So like for the first one, step is equal to one. For the second, uh, for the second process, step is equal to two. For the third process, step is equal to four, so on and so forth. So um, this is about updating the step. After that, you're going to have remain uh, divided equal to two, and then step times equal to two as well. And then the left is equal to not left because uh, if left is true, you're going to next time you're going to start from the right, which means left is equal to going to be false for the next time. And finally, you're going to return head here. So that's pretty much it about this uh, piece of code. Now let's do some testing using this platform. Okay, so it seems to be right. Let's run some other test cases. Okay, so it seems to be good. Uh, let's do a submission on top of it. Cool. So everything works well, and uh, that's it for the solution and uh, the piece of code. If you have any question regarding the solution, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help us subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.